Right. So today I'll be showing you the difference between a single xenon, a bi-xenon, and a tri-xenon projector. Uh, so you'll commonly hear, you know, car has xenon headlights, it has bi-xenon headlights, and this is a newer one that ha actually has a third stage for the, the light output. So what does that actually mean? So here you can see this projector is just solid. It just has projectable a lens and it doesn't have a solenoid. If I show you this projector here, you can see again the bowl, the, the lens, but this one has a solenoid. And this is what makes this by Xenon is this little solenoid. So let me see. So here, inside of this, when you apply power to the solenoid, angle this right, when it applies power, it is going to move a flap inside of that projector, which is going to allow more light to shine through the projector and essentially give it a quote-unquote high beam function. So that is a E55 style projector and this one here is out of a Tesla. I've already gone ahead and removed the screws so I can easily show you. This one's a little bit different in that once you apply power it's going to fold this flap down and forward. And you can see here, this is the cutoff shield, which gives the the light, the, the line that you see when you pull up in front of a, a wall. So once you pull this forward, there's a secondary cutoff shield in the background, in the back here, that will take over, but this will let more light through. And this one, unfortunately, it is pressed together, so I can't um, disassemble it easily. Um, it actually has a roller style. So using the two wires, um, depending on which power you give, which wire you give the power to, it will rotate forward or it will rotate backwards. And the settings here are going to, one is going to let more light out, but then the other one is actually going to restrict light to a narrower beam. So I've got a ball is here set up and I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and try to show you um, what this actually means. So here you can see here's the normal the low beam functionality when the light is on in, in standard operating mode. But then sorry this is a little difficult to do but once I apply power to the solenoid see here this is actually kicking into that low beam function and if you hopefully you can see this but you can see here this little arc you'll see that that arc will go away and right here in the center will actually get a little bit brighter when I do this so hopefully you can see that difference now I'm just going to take these wires and reverse it and apply the plus and minus differently in the opposite direction. So now you can see that this arc here is going to almost go away and it's going to become a lot brighter. So this is going to be that normal by xenon functionality that's just going to let a lot more light through. And from this distance here of about 18 inches, you know, it, it's hard to tell a difference, but when you're out further, you're out in the open, and you actually have, you know, 50, 75, 100 feet, you'll, you'll notice a difference in front of you. And this is going to be the same um, anytime you hear the word bi on a set of headlights. So a bi-halogen headlight is going to be the same thing. It just uses halogen bulbs instead of xenon. And as well with bi-LED, um, you still have the LED functionality, and there's going to be a flap inside that's going to move to let more light output to give you that quote unquote that that high beam functionality. The the light bulb itself isn't going to get brighter, there's not more lights, you're just moving a flap that allows more light 
to escape from the bowl through the lens by moving that flap and removing that restriction. So I hope you found this information useful and now you know the difference between a xenon, bi-xenon, and this new style, this new tri-xenon projector.